Hello gamers, today is going to be an exciting episode as we will be making our own island. Like last time we built our own house, we textured it and made it quest compatible. And today we're going to make this beautiful house. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely lovely. <laughs> we're going to put it on an island. So. We will be learning how to create landscape and how to sculpt it and texture it to whatever we want. So uh, let's get started. First thing we need to do is actually scale down this big cube floor because we want to be uh, able to put an, uh, an island over there of course so this gonna be only visible at the inside of the house so we're scaling it down just by pressing the skill option skill tool or the shortcut R and just drag it down with the axis on screen so okay I'm not gonna do it perfectly but I'm just making it as good as enough. <laughs> um, so let's fill the gap so we don't see the void to the floor coming. So it's fine over there, it's fine over there. And well, this is a little bit outside of the house, so we're gonna scale that down as well. So for the skill uh, uh, shortcut, it's R. And to move it's W so you can quickly switch between like the icons over here it's just a quick little tip and I know you gamers are used to pressing W and R so it shouldn't be that much of a problem let's kill it down just a little bit more that's inside the house that's inside the house that's still outside the house well let's leave it like that i'm gonna spend too much time on that so yeah this looks okay as we got our, our nice little house over there but we need a way to get outside we uh, of course we can just walk up these stairs and <laughs> drop down but we won't be able to get in so let's um Let's see, let's just take this wall and what we can maybe just remove it for this purpose. Just like that, remove it. Press the lead on that wall and we got ourselves a nice little big <laughs> exit. <laughs> of course you can like add other kind of types to just make your own doorway. But I'm not gonna cover it right now because, well, I think you all have the ability to make this yourself now by just dragging the prototype objects in the scene and just scale it and then just go to your materials and put a material on it just like that so we got our nice doorway it's, it's a little bit big but it uh, gives you the idea for now I'm just gonna delete these and I just leave it like this so we got a big exit so let's get started with actually making the island um, for that we need a few more textures of course so I already opened up the website I already start searching for some textures like uh, we need some weed just to create a little bit of randomness uh, we need some sand because we're creating an island and some like dirt with little pebbles on it or like a road or something just to create a little diversity and last thing we need is like we need a water shader and I'm gonna drop this link in the description as well this is where you can get some world prefabs for uh, the SDK 2 or some shaders that are pretty useful for example 
uh, quest reflecting water ripple shader that's the one that we will be using today and use this uh, well it's it's already describing that you have to save it as quest reflect water dot shader so when you open it it will open this and well most of you probably don't know what this is but this is actually the shader you can um, right click it and then save as and then just uh, select all files and I already did it but just uh, give it the name quest reflect water dot shader and save it I can well it doesn't have to but um, when that's in your scene you got a new type let me I already tried the shade out just to see if it worked good enough I'm gonna create a new material I'm gonna call this water and now we can actually use that shader it's right over there when you select the shader and press the drop down you can see quest reflect water so we're gonna select that and the the main color um, I like it to be a little bit bluish of course water is I don't know blue um reflection cube map well we can use the default cube map that you see right over here but let's um let's just do that so you got like when you press the select you got these balls just select one double click it and it's over there for the normal map we actually don't have a normal map for the ripples but uh, i think we have some other yeah we, we got some other normal maps from the previous uh, tutorial so just select one like uh, let's have this one it's just for demonstration purpose you can always find uh, a, a better ripple of course and i don't like a lot of bump you can, you can actually see it going on over there you can rotate it i don't like the, it's not a good reflection map let's take the i don't know this this one yeah, that looks a little bit better and let's uh, put something like like this and for the reflection color let's m make it reflect a little bit darker uh, that should cool. that looks like water right <laughs> <laughs> well it doesn't yet but we'll get there so now we got that water shader set up we got the water texture let's create a big big uh, plane so press on create 3d object and select plane there we go just add the water to it like that and look at this beautiful water you already saw it moving and we, we can test it out by pressing play and pause and you can see it over there well, that looks pretty fine as it is uh, working on the quest as well so it's good enough for me good enough for me so let's drag this down a little bit so it's i think a little bit under the house just like that put it in the center just like zero 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 over here on position and let's make the scale 100 on all axes there we go it's pretty big so uh, let's see can we adjust yeah we can adjust the tiling does that work let's see i have this first time i'm using this shader as well yeah okay let's bump it up to 50. that should be fine yeah so there is our water i'm actually gonna drag it a little bit more down because we want to have a little island that slowly fades into the water of course so let's make this the water level 
Oh, let, let's put a little more like this. Okay, so that's it. We got our water now. Our lonely house in the water. Of course, we can at this moment walk on the water. If you do not want that to happen, you can just remove the mesh collider. So just press the little cog in the upper right and select remove component. Now when you go over the water you will fall through into the void and respawn. So that's fine. And that's it. That's it. So I'm gonna close this one. I'm leaving that open. So we got these two textures as well. I just selected two random sand and pebble like dirt mud uh, textures you can pick any texture you want of course you can make it grassy uh, and create a forest or whatever but i'm just going for an island id so let's uh, create these into some materials i already downloaded them so they're all ready in the project and we're just gonna create a new material and we're gonna call this one sand and select the sand texture we don't want regular highlights we do want some reflection on it so it reflects like the the sky cube on it so you get a little bit more bluish hue on the, on the sand and uh, last one material select and select the pebbles there we go no highlights just the reflection and of course uh, to make it quest compatible we're going to a light map it and put this one as well on mapped there we go so that's it we got ourselves two textures i don't uh, we probably don't even need to just quickly gonna rename it uh, i don't think we need to create much materials out of it let's ch check it actually create 3d object and select terrain there we go that's a big plane um we're gonna drag it more like that the house is in the center of it more like this it seems fine and as uh, when you create a terrain like the point that it, it's on like on the on the z axis that's the lowest of your terrain so if if you want the uh, the, the the terrain to be lower than what it is right now you, you cannot sculpt it down anymore so you have to drag it all the way down not too much just We'll make it like uh, minus 25 on the i axis so it's under the water and all we have to do now is uh, let's let's hide this plane first so the water is gone i'm gonna rename this to water as well we know that that object is the water and terrain is fine so that was a uh, pretty uh, much of a quick run <laughs> but we got our terrain now and at this moment we can sculpt it we can do a lot of things with it we can well smooth it set it high paint it raise or uh, lower the terrain and attach multiple terrains together but we're not gonna do that right now and first thing we're gonna do is create a new layer so when you select the first one and then paint texture on the drop down you have the big button over here that's saying edit terrain layers press that one and select create a layer so <coughs> this uh, new window opens up and yeah see we didn't have to create those materials we can just select the sand texture and create another layer with the mud texture 
Well, in your case, it might be as well that it's um, grass or, I don't know, stones, mountain, snow, whatever texture you have. Put it in here. And you can already see that the terrain has changed its color. You can see the rest sand over there now. It's kind of small though, so we're gonna select one of the textures. We're gonna open it up. And we're gonna set the size to, no, not to one. We're gonna set it to 10, 10. Uh, that might be, that might be okay. And we do the same for the other texture, so 10, 10. And, but no, no, that's not it. Uh, from now on, we can start sculpting the terrain so we're gonna select the drop down again and we're gonna um, check the raise or a lower terrain so you can see that everything has changed so we got a brush now on our cursor let me create a little bit bigger window so we got a brush and we want to create an, a decent decent uh, large Island. So we're gonna increase the brush size to like 100. Well, 100. Yeah, something like this. That's fine. I'm just gonna click the terrain now. So click it, click it, click it, click it, click it. There we go. So we got a big amount of sand coming through our house right now uh, to fix that we need to like flatten it out a little bit well we can like, decrease the brush a little bit and then hold uh, shift and click it to like scale it down that's one way to do it well, that's actually already pretty yeah that, that's fine and the other way you can do it is like set a height and you have to uh, hold control somewhere click it and then you can press to move everything to that height so. so let's make it a little bit bigger all right that looks uh, that looks good but i want to have my my mud in there as well of course so we're gonna select the set height again and go back to paint texture i'm gonna select the second one or whichever texture you have there and oh let's close this one and adjust the brush size to about yeah, well, that's fine. And just draw around the house a little bit. Just a little bit. You can see like the stones, etc. coming through it already. So let's make a little smaller brush, or even smaller. Like this, yes. And we're gonna, I don't know, create some kind of road. You can increase the strength of the brush as well by changing the opacity. So the higher you set it, the more it flows the texture through the other texture. You can see it's it's blending in and the higher you set it, the harder the texture gets when you draw over it. Yeah, let's help. create some road. There we go. That's a nice little road. Then we go back to the water object and enable it again so we can see how it looks like. That's uh, that's an island. It looks good. We got ourselves an island, boys. We don't need Mr. Beast to buy us one of uh, F100K. So, for the last thing we can also well, add a little bit of grass to it so 
gonna uh, press the little flower icon over there and press edit details add a grass texture and select our grass there it is I think that's enough just add it yeah that seems fine and we can now just draw some grass on it it's not the most beautiful grass I have but let's redo it by control Z it and change the grass size a little bit higher and opacity way way lower so we get just a little flux of grass maybe even lower set the strength a little bit lower as well when we draw over there it's still a bit a bit much so let's put it even down yeah that, that's better I just want a few of them up here on the island it's not like in a uh, real habitant island that someone lives on right Change the brush size a little bit again. Put a few in between here. Yeah, that's starting uh, to look fine. All right, so that's that's it, guys. That's how you make an island. It's really easy as that, and we can just go back to uh, the, the, the brush and select paint texture and raise or a lower terrain and we can just adjust the island a little bit now just making at least a little bit more I feel like it's a real island and not just a flat plane We're adding some depth to like the island itself just draw a little bit over here a little bit over there just like that there we go looks good well for our first attempt let's create the edges and make them a little bit more like feel like an island That's how we make islands or forest or we can make creative thing you want with it of course. So the thing that I'm not um doing right now is adding trees because I wanna save that up for a later episode. As in the next episode we will have an a pretty cool thing that we gonna well, start using and making our world even better. Uh, for the next episode, we will be um, adding more prefabs to the world, like uh, a table, a sofa, um, a television, or whatever. We're gonna add a lot of things to it, and for example, some trees as well. So, for now, um, I'm gonna leave it. With this and let's rebake the lightning one more time so press the lightning tab if you don't have it open just go to window and then go to uh, rend yeah rendering and then lightning settings and just press generate lightning and there it goes, it takes a little bit of time, you know, from previous episode. So I'm gonna wait for it. It's gonna be done in just a few and it making the shadows like appear on the island as well, making it a bit better looking. Okay, so that's it. Um, 
next time we're gonna add some more models like a, a couch uh, a table those kind of things that's gonna be an exciting one because when we understand how to add like the models from other makers or creators and put them in your own world filling it up the the white spaces and making it more feel like an actually world from that point on we're good enough to build our own worlds and when i say good enough to build our own worlds we can actually start earning money with creating these kind of worlds for other people so that's gonna be an exciting episode and after that i will show you how to create worlds for others with just the techniques you have learned in these past series for now i i want to thank my patreons for this month i, I really appreciate it guys um i shouldn't i couldn't be able to do this without you guys you're you're now i'm sure you're up here for sure and um yeah i hope that i can create some good content for you in in like the future as well like the next thing that we um, gonna put on patreon as well is some uh, triggers so i've got a, a world with a lot of triggers in it and i will be providing those triggers to you guys like uh, how to care jump someone um, how to play basketball um, how to open or close doors all those kind of things um, are able uh, are, are available for you guys just to put in your own worlds and make them suit your world so for now i'm gonna leave it like this um, i'm gonna say you all goodbye and see you in the next episode latest